Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm sorry, I I'm overwhelmed. I'm overexcited. I'll tell you what, the anticipation, the hype, everything that went into the SummerSlam, it all lived up to its expectations. Actually, it far exceeded any expectations, imaginations, or dreams that we had for this SummerSlam. I cannot believe what we just witnessed, and this is the review, so if you don't know what the hell's going on, go watch SummerSlam. Don't watch the video if you haven't watched SummerSlam already. What a phenomenal SummerSlam. I'll tell you what, highlighted by three five-star matches. The mid-card match of Damon Sandow versus Cody Rhodes was also good. The, the, the Ring of Fire match was sloppy as hell. Didn't really like it, but they got the point across with Kane getting demolished, and then and then you had Rob Van Dam versus Dean Ambrose, which was yet another good match. 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, uh, Christian versus Alberto Dorio was one hell of a fight. Christian, you know, gave it everything he had, but Dorio comes with the victory. Another match I would give 3.5 out of 5 stars, but the booking the direction and, and, and the shock and the awe and, and, and where the WWE took us. I mean, this SummerSlam took us on a damn near uh, roller coaster ride. I mean, th this had the makings of one of the greatest, one of the most shocking SummerSlams of all time. And how can we forget Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk? Physical, brutal, volatile. CM Punk threw everything he had at, at Brock Lesnar, including the kitchen sink. Ladies and gentlemen, this SummerSlam right here. Uh, that, I'll tell you what, John Cena wins the match. Well, excuse me, Daniel Bryan wins the match. Congratulations, Daniel Bryan, new WWE champion. Yeah, the sparklers going off. The balloons are flying. The fireworks are going off. The confetti's coming from the air. And then all of a sudden, I hear voices. Randy Orton comes out. Looks like he's just going to give a warning to Bryan. Just, just a little warning, like I'm going to cash in when you least expect it, when you're down and out. And then all of a sudden, Triple H, yes, yes. And then, bam, pedigree. Pedigree, you don't ever turn your back on the Cerebral Assassin. Triple H is always thinking five moves ahead or five moments ahead. Daniel Bryan was basking in the glory. Hey, congratulations. Daniel Bryan was a WWE Champion for all but three minutes. I'll tell you what, what a great celebration. It was a grand celebration. The WWE spared no expense for Daniel Bryan. But then it all came to a head when Randorn came down. Triple H pedigrees are in, and it looks as if the WWE is going to go on the route of that Triple H heel turn, obviously, and Randorn being the corporate champion of the WWE. I'll tell you what surprise, what shock, what or I am in total amazement. I cannot believe how good this SummerSlam was. I knew it was going to be off the charts, but I did not expect it to be half as good as as what we witnessed tonight. This was every bit worth the the the, the pennies, the quarters, the nickels, the dimes, the dollar bills. This SummerSlam right here, ladies and gentlemen, will go down as a money in the bank WWE Championship change. You see it happened two times in one night, ladies and gentlemen. I, I could go on and on about this SummerSlam. I, and this is what the thing about the WWE. Anything can happen in the WWE. And that was proven tonight on this night. And uh, I'll tell you, what a phenomenal match between Daniel Bryan and John Cena. John Cena brought it and Daniel Bryan brought it even more. Um, you know, Lesnar versus CM Punk was a match that, you know, far exceeded anyone's expectations. Uh, Christian versus Del Rio, like I said, what hot, what, de what determination in that match. Um... This, I, I don't really have many complaints. Like I said, the Bray Wyatt match wasn't really anything to talk about. The Divas match really, nah, you know, it was what it was. And I'll tell you what, the way the, the way SummerSlam was ending, I, I, I thought it was going to end with Daniel Bryan being the WWE Champion because I'm like, all right, when's Orton coming out? When's he going to... Then he served that warning, and then, boom, it wasn't more than a warning. It was a, a one, two, three. What is going to be the ramifications? What's going to happen tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw? There are now more questions than answers coming out of, out of SummerSlam, and that's what I like. If... People don't rate this pay-per-view 8.5 out of 10 stars or higher. There's something wrong because this pay-per-view was every bit it was it was hyped up to be. It really was. And uh, I'm just lost at words. I mean, I know there was rumors and there was speculation that Orton was going to turn heel. But who would ever thought in a million years that would have been Triple H that helped Orton become the WWE Champion. Your comments and your opinions on what was one hell of a SummerSlam, the hottest event of the summer, and I am definitely glad that I watched it, bought it, and um, I, I have no... Like I said, Cena's no longer the champ. He's got to go rest. He's got to have surgery. Hey, he's got he's to do what he's got to do. It's time for a rest, but now it is time for the age of Orton at SummerSlam due to the game Triple H. Evolution coming back together somehow, some way. It may not be with Triple H and Batista, but you never know. What's going to happen tomorrow night on Raw? I can't wait to find out. Subscribe. Oh, and I give SummerSlam 9 out of 10 stars. Yes, you heard me right. 9 out of 10 stars. It was that good. It was must-see.